The Lodgers is a period ghost story set in Ireland in 1920 mm -hmm. about two twins who um, live in a house under three strict rules and if they break them they will suffer the consequences from uh, whatever lives beneath. I think the idea of the rules is that um, often as children you grow up in a household and you're expected to follow the rules of the family. So this particular family has a very strange um, tradition that they follow from generation to generation. And I suppose as time passes, those rules they live by become more and more strange. And uh, as the, uh, the um, curse they live by takes hold of generation after generation, the rules become more than rules to make them behave they become rules to allow the family to continue for generation after generation. Ireland at the time in 1920 was on the brink of becoming free from uh, the United Kingdom. So the brother and sister very much represent the past and the future. So he represents the past where he must do what he's told. She represents the future where she will choose her own life. But she also represents the, the, the present for women because she represents a woman, a woman who will no longer be told that she must live her life a certain way, she will choose her own future. So it's a contemporary message inside a period film. The similarities are Rachel does not feel at home in her own home, in her own house, and Irish people did not feel at home in their own land. So she lives in her house, but someone else tells her how she must live, and the Irish people lived in their land, but other people from another country told them how they must live. So that's the similarity between the two. Both of us, Irish people and Rachel, both wanted to choose their own future. Well, in the script, the house very much felt like um, another character. It felt like it was alive. You, it, it felt like it was permeating their souls, okay? So um, we tried to find a house that had that atmosphere and we became very lucky that we found Loftus Hall. But the house very much represents the um, physicality of the, uh, of the ancestors, of the parents, the great-grandparents, etc. So we don't see them during the day, but they are present within the walls of the house, within the floorboards, within the creeks. So the house very much is the physical representation of the, uh, of the parents, the great-grandparents, etc. Yes, um, for me as a director, because I did not write the film, so my inspiration is different to the writer. So for me, I took inspiration uh, from M.R. James, who is the most famous of the British ghost story writers. So uh, I, I, I'm very fond of his work, but my inspiration visually came from the 1966 ghost story called The Innocents with Deborah Kerr. Also, I was inspired by The Hunger with David Bowie and Catherine Deneuve, uh, the Tony Scott film. But then I was also very, very inspired for the atmosphere of The Duke of Burgundy, which was a film which was not a ghost story or a horror, but it was a very strange film about a village only inhabited by women and the relationships they have. And it's a very unsettling, uncomfortable film. And I liked the atmosphere, I liked the sound, I liked the visuals, and that was also a big inspiration. This is uh, Malaga, this is my third festival, and each festival has its own personality. So TIFF is very, very big, it kind of feels very, very international. Uh, there's lots of movie stars. Uh, Sitges is kind of has a holiday atmosphere to it, uh, which is great fun. Malaga then is very personal. It's uh, because it feels like, like a, a small community, everybody's very welcoming. Uh, and then Cork, which is the Irish premiere, will have a very different uh, atmosphere. So, uh, so each time you go to a festival, you have a totally different experience, and that makes it interesting each time. Uh, and uh, every, each festival has been very welcoming. The audience have enjoyed the film, and the reviews have been very strong, and so far it's been very positive. I, um, I have a, a horror movie in development that um, uh, may be made next year. I'm also, with the writer of The Lodgers, David Turpin, I am developing a science fiction film, a high concept science fiction film. Uh, and I'm also reading a number of scripts which are mainly science fiction. So my interest in genre is much greater than just horror. I love horror, but I also love science fiction, westerns, film noirs, thrillers, I love everything. So um, I'm, uh, I'm excited to try other genres 
Uh, and my next one, maybe horror, maybe sci-fi, we'll see.